he kept training and kept training under you. Um, when you were teaching and everything like that, um, did you feel that you had to change the type of teaching that you did, the drills that you had them do because you felt that maybe mentally they weren't, they couldn't handle it or physically they couldn't handle it? Or did you find that you had students that they responded really well to your teaching and the, the type of, you know, even punishment you would put them through to, um, to get them to improve? You know, it's, uh, I, 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 I want to tell you, uh, I do one, one way martial arts style. I do one way, one way style. Kimota Grandpa, I do one way, one way, one way, same time. Her training, make her strong training, but one way. But I'm going to tell you, okay? When you studying martial a very important one, one master, one way. This best learning for technique. One way, one martial art make a strong, this good technique, martial art. But uh, I see a lot of people in their mind, they want to do, I'm not learning this way, this way, this kind, this kind, this kind, this kind. But too much change your company. It's not good for learning for strong martial art. Maybe, uh, maybe wrestling people, I wanna learn kicking punch. Then I wanna learn maybe hot kido too. I understand because wrestling they don't have a kicking. Shoot or they don't have a kicking. So I understand, I understand. But wrestling and judo, maybe tumbling people. I wanna tumbling people. I wanna learning some kicking punch. That's okay. You can change that kind master. But uh, karate do taekwondo and karate do all different martial art. You know, maybe too much change company. You cannot be strong martial art. Never. Never can I make strong. No. Better. Yeah, master important one too. Who is the master? What kind of technique master? Very important too. But best way. Good master, good technique, follow. This is a very important one. Sometimes she, she just they have a kicking to little bear. Before, no kicking, but now they do kicking a little bit. But they change shoes. I do shoes, I do karate, I do what? Well, I do hapkiru, I do wow, 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 that way. You cannot be strong martial arts, never. Better one company, good martial arts, strong maker. This will make a good suspense coming, automatic. Not strong martial art, a lot of technique, you cannot make it strong. One good punch, you can make a soft defense. One kicking, you can make a soft defense. But how much practicing is important. And then learning that, 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 that. How make a strong mind go, this, 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 this. How make a strong? Because I tell, one A martial art, is a good for you can make strong martial art. That's Master Jose. It kind of reminds me of that Bruce Lee quote where it was, uh, he doesn't fear someone that knows 10,000 techniques, but one technique that he's trained 10,000 times. So it kind of reminds me of that because when you're fighting, you know, I noticed that a lot when I was training and I would spar is that, um, you know, like Kuk So Kwan has a massive curriculum, but when we fight, only a few different techniques that we use when we spar and different variations of how to get into the technique, you know, yeah. a back kick, jab, cross, sweep. It's like, how do we go to those same techniques over and over again? Um, and the good thing about 
learning an arsenal of techniques is being able to try and experiment with different stuff. But that's something I keep in mind when I teach is that uh, let's make sure the technique is down, that they understand it, they can use it in a self-defense situation and sparring before they move on to another technique, you know. Um, Yeah, it's a uh, very, very important thing that's good too. But uh, when you when you come studio, you can tr practicing this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Everything is good for you. Everything good for good for you need good for make a balance. Good for make a you know, hand, joint, strong, everything. A lot of technique, training, training, training. It's a very good, very good for better than no training. But at the same time, a lot, of, a lot of technique, a lot of practicing is good. Same time, you want to stop defense, you need to. So I'm talking about soft defense. You need a one, two, three technique plus make a power, speed, sub defense. You can go sub defense. But you have to train in anything, tumbling too, anything. Because body gonna go make a you know good balance and fat, you know, speed balance. So anything practicing, all anything practicing is a good for body. And so it depends, different practice a little bit. And then you have a good body, good balance, and then, you know, so it depends on how then good for using technique. Mm. That's a better way. Yeah. But some, some martial arts, they don't do a lot of things, exercise, practicing, and after later, maybe a little soft depends. Then body balance is different. Body need a faster too. Body need a good balance too. You know, so you have a good muscle too. And then you can practice things. So it depends a little. Then very good for together. Together. Anything practicing, martial art. But I don't say any company martial art. Any kind of technique practicing, good. Good, try hard, good. You wanna learn to stop depend? Okay. This kind of body, you use one, two, three, four technique. Bam! You can do good, so that's stop depend. Yeah. That's the best way, that's the way. Because I, I like to do anything. I like a sword, I like a weapon, I like a stick, I like a bone, I like anything, I like a tambourine, I like anything. That body use. So it depends technique. A little bit of speed power. So you have a little good muscle. And go help. A lot of helping. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was just uh, listening to what you were saying, and you've had a long, long journey with martial arts. Long time. Yeah. And, and what, what are some of the things that, that you remember? Uh, what are some of the more memorable things that you experienced in your martial arts career that you think about, you go, wow, you know, I, I, I did that, or I'm happy about that. <clears throat> I go mountain time. When I, uh, when I, uh, when I, 19 years old, I, I'll, 19 years old, I went to the monk house. Yeah, Korean monk house, mountain. That time, 
it's a martial time. I think the best point. Because when I mount, when I go pre training mountain, why I come mountain training? I have to think about what kind I find in the mountain. So my practicing is uh, pine tree together. How much I have power? How much I can kicking and breaking pine tree leaves? That time, that time, I have my feeling. Before outside, I'm thinking maybe I'm very good, very good, very good. But when I go mountain, alone practicing time, when I'm practicing alone, I find myself, I don't have a technique. I don't have a technique. I cannot break in only this one. I cannot jump in this way. I don't have a technique. I need to make a better technique, better technique, better technique. Hitting hard, hitting hard, hitting hard, speed, 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 hitting hard, you know. Just one long hard kick, you know, hard, 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 speed, speed, power. Power, no power, no power. Not too much power, and then later, later, after one year, oh, little bit of power coming, little bit of power coming, oh, no hurting my body too. Little bit of power coming, not bad, not bad, after two years. I come outside, and then I go looking at the martial studio, master, or that kind of people from tech, you know, taekwondo studio, or master looking at me. Oh no, that's not martial. I have a feeling coming that way. Meaning what? When I outside, me top. 